The rivalry between Android and iOS and the debate between the fans of these two operating systems over the superiority of each of them will never end. But one thing is certain, Google's operating system has more functional and customizable features than Apple's operating system. Just go to the settings section of an Android smartphone and do a little search in its menu and various tabs to find these smart features and useful tools. Before we begin, we must say that as you know versions of Android on different devices have differences in some menus. So do not despair if you do not find the option that we will mention in this video, with the same name and in the same specific section. Maybe your device has another name somewhere in the settings menu. Some of the new features of Android 10 have been requested by users for a long time, and here is a list of the best tips and tricks related to Android 10, and join us to learn these tricks and features. Subscribe our YouTube channel to watch the rest of this video and more. One of the first new features you'll notice in Android 10 is a smart response. This feature allows you to reply the messages with one of the suggested Google responses including emojis and even directly from the notification bar. It was previously available for Google Apps but with Android 10 you can use this feature in all messaging apps including WhatsApp, Telegram and Facebook Messenger. Given that privacy is a big part of Android 10, Google was quick to point out that Smart Answers uses artificial intelligence on the device to find suggested answers, and nothing is sent to Google servers. It is not convenient, but this feature will be a big step for Smart Response. In general, this feature allows you to respond without going into the program and typing. Of course, it will inform you beforehand and you will either accept or not. Sharing on Android has always been a bit tricky, but with Android 10, Google has made things a lot easier. By dragging the sharing menu, you will be given more options to send links, images, and other data from your smartphone. There are also SMS messaging apps and popular email options to share with many other apps. Sharing with Google Keep, for example, allows you to copy and paste text from a web page or message into your note-taking app. You can also share faster and easier. One of the best examples of this feature is sharing a Chrome tab with one of your other devices. If I use Chrome on my smartphone and want to keep reading on my tablet to have a bigger screen, the new Share 10 list is Android 10 allows me to send a screen between the two devices. Sharing Wi-Fi passwords with friends and colleagues has always been painful on Android, especially if the password is a large number of random numbers and letters. Now Google, like Huawei, has integrated Wi-Fi sharing directly into the operating system. From among Wi-Fi settings, you can share your connected networks via QR code. This menu also clearly shows the password. Android users have been requesting for dark mode features for some time and it was finally added. In Android 10, there is now a dark mode on the system level. You can add it to the setting list. Dark mode is supported on all apps and affects all Android menus. By activating the battery saving mode, the dark mode is also activated automatically. Considering that saving battery power on OLED screens is one of the main reasons why people have requested this feature, Dark mode is very popular. In general, the feature Focus Mode prevents you from doing tempting things and you can fill your time by doing other things. As part of Google's digital health packages, Focus Mode aims to eliminate some of the distractions that some of the apps on your smartphone come with. You can pause distracted programs. Notifications will be deleted for applications you have identified. The focus of the mode is that you can eliminate the temptation of WhatsApp messages that you want to watch a fast movie on YouTube when they're deciding to study or spend time with your loved ones.
One of the biggest changes in Android 10 is the tighter application licensing system. In this version of Android, a special section has been designed in which you can see which applications have which permissions, such as using your camera, locator, or files. To see this section, go to Settings, Apps, the three dot mark at the top of left of the screen, App Permissions. In this section, you can turn off permissions that you do not want to give to any application or enable permissions for applications. In version 9 of its operating system, Google introduced a new motion system that did not perform well. So in its next update and in Android 10, it is fixed its problem and now you can enjoy the motion system. Go to the settings section and from the display menu, select the navigation bar option and in the navigation type section, activate the full screen gestures option. The new motion system works by swiping up at the bottom of the screen which previously contained the back home and the new apps button and is obviously designed for new full screen phones. This feature, along with new features of swiping between different screens of the phone, are from Google's new 100 technology. We recommend that you do this because using the virtual button is a thing of the past these days.